We have four exams. The most humbling day of my entire life. Do you have any supporting questions? <laughs> <laughs> this shirt is from Shein, and then these are my favorite pants. Child development, psychology. I just failed that. <laughs> Cleaned my whole apartment. I just wrote out a little workout. Okay, so I got an 83 on that. That's my, I just got bodied by that question. <laughs> so this is today. Good morning you guys. Welcome back to another video. My name is Peyton if you guys are new here. I have mixed feelings about this vlog because I'm excited to be filming a week in the life for you guys. I am a PA student at Michigan State University and as you guys can tell from the title, we have like a horrible week coming up this week. Today is Sunday. This upcoming week we have four exams. So I thought it would be kind of interesting more so for you guys to see like what that looks like and like how we get through it, if we get through it, and just like like the realities of like this week just kind of sucking. Um, so I'm excited to be able to film that for you guys, but I'm just like not excited for the week if that makes sense. It is like Sunday morning, uh, 9 40. I have myself a nice massive Dunkin Donuts drink. This is so good. It's so sugary though It is a iced pumpkin spice latte with almond milk really sugary But it's like delicious. It's probably so bad for me, but I don't really care So the reason I am choosing to start filming on a Sunday is because I feel like Sundays the day before like a big week Like this is kind of like a big it, it plays a big role in your success for that week So I just wanted to take you guys through kind of what I get up to today Let me give you a rundown of what we have going on this week. We have four exams. Two of them are on Monday Two of them are on Wednesday Hello, I don't know how to start Amazing. Are you coming tonight at five? All I did was I watched the videos, like little recordings. I know. I'm debating. I did I did micro yesterday, but I haven't even touched genetics. I did like I did micro yesterday, but it's not like solidified in my brain. Me, me either. Dude, my whole search thing is pronunciation. <laughs> genetics is like you know like the process. Like you have to like you can't like memorize it. No, you have to understand it. Like, exactly. But like how, that's why I was texting you guys, like how do you learn genetics? I don't understand. <laughs> Miss Emily, what a queen. She's okay, I forget what I was saying. I think I was going to give you guys the lowdown. So we have two exams on Monday, two exams on Wednesday. Now the two exams tomorrow is what we were just talking about. Genetics and microbio. These two classes we take with the DO students, so the med students at Michigan State. And honestly, microbio seems totally fine because it's just memorization. Like, it's very case-based. Like, somebody comes in, they are a gardener, which is like a buzzword for one of them. But you just have buzzwords for the different fungi and parasites so that it's just like, I think it should be straightforward. Like, what parasite is this? Or like, how would you treat it? So it's just like memorization. Genetics, however, as you probably heard me say, I literally don't understand like how to learn it. And today I'm starting that. So today's genetics heavy. And then on Wednesday, we have a hematology exam that class we take with the second year DO students all three of these tests actually are DO program like taught like it's taught by their faculty hematology is not my vibe we had our first one last week I think I got an 89 on it but like I've never felt more unprepared for an exam in my life like an 89 I was so happy with because like I was so unprepared for that and then this week we have our second one and then the course is done so second exam on Wednesday this one seems like it'll be easier but that studying starts tomorrow, so we'll, we'll, have, we'll have Tuesday, or sorry, Monday and Tuesday to study for that. And then also on Wednesday is more of a OSCE type. They're not calling it an OSCE, but it's more of an OSCE type exam. So you're going to have an encounter with a standardized patient, and you have to ask them every ROS, review of systems question. So if you guys are in the healthcare field you'll know what that is but if you're not it's basically like going through every system so like starting like general then going to your skin then going to your eyes ears uh nose throat head and then like doing cardio um respiratory like there's all the systems of your body and you have to ask every single question in the rubric for that. I think somebody told me there's like 220 or something questions that we end up having to memorize in total. And then that's not even it. You, ha you ask them all the questions and then you have to step out of the room, go into another room and write a SOAP note, which is how you document an entire visit. And you have 30 minutes to write that. So that's extremely stressful and I am scared because I started memorizing the ROS yesterday. I got through the everything up here <laughs> so now I have to go down the body but anyways so that's what this week looks like and it's um terrifying but today's Sunday we got all day to study and it's a rainy gloomy day which 
it usually makes me like sad and depressed but I actually like kind of appreciate it because that just means I'll stick in here in my room grind for genetics for a few hours I want to maybe go to the gym just to like get some movement in and then my friends and I are all meeting at five to do some quizzing do some connecting the dots sort of vibes so welcome to a week of hell in PA school <laughs> okay, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the day I didn't even fill any of the other like extra stuff out but basically it's almost 10 o'clock I'm gonna start on genetics do that for three ish hours go to the gym very quickly and then do some final microbio studying and then five to eight we have a group study with my friends this always like helps me like this little session saves me every single time before an exam so that'll be really helpful and then hopefully tonight I can do RLS prep, which is the stuff for Wednesday. So let's um, walk through this. Thank you for starting to DNA here. And base here. Flip. The C is going to be used, and so G is going to be possible to start with some spontaneous mutations uh, around DNA replication. Recent developments. I just took the practice genetics exam, and I actually... So usually when I take practice exams, I swear I get like 50%. This one I got like a 70 six or something so I passed it which is just like phenomenal because I've done like bare minimum studying so that makes me feel really good so it's 12 o'clock from 12 to 1 I have one more hour I'm gonna kind of nail down some of the things that don't quite make sense to me so anyways that's lovely that's stunning and beautiful and then we'll do this for an hour and then head to the gym just put this cutie patootie gym shark set on now the thing is I get self-conscious working out just like this because like there's a lot of skin showing so I have never done this before but I see all those cute little tiktok -y girls that like huck this the back in their sports bra I don't know I just wrote out a little workout I'm just gonna do like a circuit version of a leg day so like not even do the barbell or anything um warm up like 10 minute incline walk and then I'm gonna do this and then just however many times maybe that equals like 30 to 40 minutes so that's the plan so let's go do that it's pouring rain <laughs> we love that and i'm feeling really good about genetics right now so that's incredible like i needed that my soul needed that so let's head to the gym i don't usually film the gym so i will catch you guys when we're done and i'll let you know how it goes lunch has been consumed and up next we're doing microbiome now I spent the majority of my time on microbiome yesterday actually all of my time on microbiome yesterday so this should really <clears throat> there's like something in my throat did I have chocolate chip cookie on me I had a chocolate chip cookie after um this should really be a review for me like what I'm about to do but I just wanted to show you quickly kind of how I went about this so if you take a peek, I basically broke every, on this slide we got some, yeah, parasites going. And for each one, like, let's take a look at trichomonas, because I know that one the best. Um, I wrote, like, the important stuff and just highlighted it, because this exam is going to be very buzzword heavy. So, for example, I know that it's sexually transmitted. I know that it um, comes up as, like, vaginal discharge and itchiness for women, and that you treat with metronidazole. So I, the only, the way, I start getting confused when we get to the fungi, so I really need to review that. I have a whole quizlet too that I'm going to go through, so that is my plan right now. Time to pack up for my little study session. iPad. The laptop. Keys. Charger. Water. Study outfit of the day. I love this little crew neck. It's from a like small business that I found on Instagram called Shop Olive Lynn. It's just a cute little teddy bear. And then my beloved airy flare like yoga pants. I guarantee you my friend Jill is wearing these because we both have them. And they're literally so comfortable. And then I just have my Air Force Ones on and this cute little headband because my hair is extremely greasy from the workout that I did today. That's the update and let's learn genetics and microbiome. Joe, yeah. what pants are you wearing? <laughs> oh, <no>. oh. Yay! <laughs> oh. I just 
just see. went. I just got bodied by that question, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm asking you. Tell me what a good old sestoed looks like. In general. A good old sesto. Dude, I probably have a sesto. That's why I'm asking you. You do. Oh my god. <laughs> I think a little sesto is going to be really big. Almost kind of like a tapeworm. Or a roundworm. No. It's or a... No, it's one or the other. <laughs> it's a tapeworm. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a tapeworm. good job. And it's really long. Um, do you have any supporting questions? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody comes in. And they have <laughs> no shoes on, and a snail is peeking out of their foot. A snail? A snail is actually peeking out? <laughs> From <laughs> where? Between their toes? Somewhere. Okay, well I thought I had it. No, yeah, I know. I'm not sure where you're going. You find two of them. I heard feet, and then I heard snails. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, get rid of the feet. Just oh, think so. okay. Oh, okay. I'm thinking snails. Um, this is a This is just a knife. <laughs> yes. Okay. Which is a trematode, which is what? a fluke. So we have the Batahazia, and then we have the, even a bloody diarrhea and hematuria are like the key judges. And what is it called? Oh wait. Oh, um, the other weird word. Kataima. Oh, Kataima. Yeah. Kataima. Kataima fever. Kataima fever. And then the main three shebangers, if something's going really wrong, is hepatomegaly, ascites, and bladder cancer. Nice. How do you treat it? Oh, prazinoquil. Nice. And what's really important about that? No idea. I don't know that either. It's Wait, six, six weeks, weeks after because oh. it only treats mature like buggers. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> slap me. <laughs> Whatever you did. Said. I say slap me. No, what did I say? Snap. Slap me. Snap. Snap. <laughs> okay. Okay. You have an ectoparasite. Okay. Okay. This ectoparasite mm -hmm. is very common in the USA. Yeah. Okay. Direct penetration. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it has three different forms and it's super duper itchy. Mm -hmm. What ectoparasite is this? Okay, is this lice? It is lice. And what are the three forms? Body, head, pubic. Mm -hmm. How do you treat the head or pubic ones? What do you do? I think you have, yeah, this the, uh, LP thing. It's like lotion. All over, if you have really bad symptoms, what can you give someone? Antistamines. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. From my understanding. So, I... Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but please. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Parasite that I'm okay, coming in with. I was dumb and I didn't listen to my friend Emily when I she told me not to go to Africa and drink the water. Perfect. <laughs> because untreated drinking water can cause this. It's the number two most common parasite in the United States. Is it a little Giardia moment? It is. Mm. What are the symptoms of Giardia? <laughs> How do you treat this little Giardia moment? You know, you boil your water for sure. Filter your water, you know. I don't know. It's not enough. You're right. Out. You do. You do. <laughs> Just said the answer. What was it? <laughs> Treatment to Giardia Lemplia. Matron Diesel. <laughs> Matron Diesel. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It is 7.18 a.m. We are about to head out. I literally, I think I need to buy like melatonin or something for nights before exams because I think since I'm like up studying, my brain does not turn off. And I end up like, I think I went to bed at like one last night, like not on purpose. I try to go to bed by like 11, but my brain just doesn't turn off and that sucks. It's the worst feeling. So I need to figure that out. So the reason I'm saying that is I'm just so beyond tired. This morning, we literally just have to go in to take these two exams. Then we can come home, and then I'm probably not going to go back until campus until I think 3 o'clock. We have like a psych, our very first psych uh, introductory course. And for those classes, they love for us to be in person. So I'll come back for that, but I have a lot I need to do today for hematology on Wednesday, which that's just, that's the thing about these weeks is like once you conquer like something, you have something coming up next. So, but it's nice because Wednesday, I'm kind of happy that we have the two on Wednesday because then after Wednesday, like you're good, like you're good to go as long as you pass, but that's the vibes. So I'm literally going to leave you here, go take these exams really quick, and then I'll be back with how it went.
So it is 10 10 and I came back home. I was so hungry because I didn't eat breakfast or anything. So actually on my way home I stopped at the grocery store and I just made that little scramble and I feel a lot better now. I have a coffee now too so it's waking me up. I bought a new creamer and I do not like it. That stinks. Okay. The exams were okay. Um, I passed both of them. So I, we literally, so for microbio and genetics, we sat down and we could choose to take either one first. Like we're, we took them back to back. So I chose microbio first because I just felt better about it. And the ones that I got wrong are like the things that I didn't pay attention to. So it was fine. Um, I got three wrong, which I don't even know what that means. That was out of 18. So that's, it's just so scary. Okay. So I got an 83 on that. Now genetics, that was a different story. That was so hard, but I knew it was going to be because I like, when I think about it, I barely studied genetics. I only focused on micro just because genetics is so conceptual. Like I didn't know how to study it. So I got five wrong there, which is like, I think just barely passing. Let me, uh, a 76. So that's fine. I'll take it to pass. You need a 70 recently My mindset's just like study to get a 70. That's what our program director always says like you don't there's literally no benefit if you get a hundred percent versus the 70% so why like kill yourself? So um, I feel good. I'm happy, but I'm also just like tired It's the gloomiest day ever for now. I'm just gonna veg out lay right here watch a YouTube video Ugh, I get so happy when I can do this New developments. I showered and I feel so much better now that my hair is finally not disgusting. I have my favorite little rose water and ivy candle going from Bath and Body Works. I like to sometimes, like when I'm feeling overwhelmed, go on Pinterest and find cute little quotes. So I found this one that says you got this with a bunch of little flowers and I posted it on Instagram and it's going to be my lock screen for the week because I'm overwhelmed. But Anyways, more things I've done. So I have been going through and making a quizlet for the heme exam. So I've so far got, I don't know, how many is that? 56? So that's a good amount of stuff. And I'm also trying my best to like take the time to understand it too and not just like mindlessly type. It's 12.39. I will have to leave here around 2.30. So I actually have quite a bit of time. I might put my blue light glasses on. So we're going to keep chugging through because essentially I would love like after this three o'clock class we have today, I would love to kind of start learning, not so much like organizing the material. Okay, you guys just got ready for class. I just put some braids in, put my little glow screen on. It's 2.16, so I'm going to head out around 2.25 maybe, and then I'll come home and continue on hematology. I'm almost done with my Quizlet, which is really nice. Um, we don't have as much material for this exam than we did the last exam, but I'm just like just now looking at it all today, and our exam's on Wednesday, so that's what worries me. Okay, you guys, we are back from the gym. I'm probably look so sweaty. It is 7.46, and when I tell you, like, the gods were on my side today when it came to the gym, like, I woke up at 6, naturally, and my alarm was set for 6.30, or 6.15, I think. So I just kind of laid there. I didn't really get out of bed till, like, 6.40, but I just was, like, I felt awake, and when I tell you I never feel like that, even when my alarm goes off at like 6.45, like I still want to sleep, so that was amazing, so then I just got up, no problem, I went to the gym, and I did some sprints and some shoulders, and it was a really good workout, it was 50 minutes long, I burned 345 active calories, so I feel amazing, and I needed that too, like when they, it comes to like a point where I haven't worked out in a few days, I just get stir crazy, so this morning we technically have an asynchronous genetics lecture we have to watch at 8. I'm just not watching that today. Like, I have other things on my mind, so I'll catch up on that maybe this weekend or something. But, yeah, so I took the opportunity to work out, and I have to be in class by 9. So I need to quickly go shower and eat something. But I feel so good. I'm ready for the day. Once again, wearing 
a little headband because I didn't have time to wash my hair. Today we have three psych lectures starting at 9 o'clock, so 9 to 12. And then I come home and I have the rest of the day to study. Uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous for... Honestly, I'm more nervous now for the review of systems because I've been practicing and it's like so much. I'll show you guys tonight when I'm practicing how much we need to know. Tonight we're actually going to my friend's grandma's house. She's going to cook us dinner and we're going to do our group study session there. Um, we always do, as you guys saw on Sunday night, we like to do like a group study session the night before exams. So that study session will be for hematology. So anyways, let's have a good day. Cheers to it being Tuesday. I've been studying quite a bit for um, hematology, but I am about to practice ROS quickly just to give my brain a little more switch up. Um, so what I'm going to do is talk out loud. Maybe I'll put this on like two times speed, but I just want to like show you guys like kind of what you have to do. And uh, maybe I'll insert some clips of me doing it in here. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to keep the camera on while I'm doing this and see how much I know. I haven't learned all of the ROS yet. I'll do all the sections that I have done so far, and then while I'm doing it, I'm gonna check and look at the rubric. Hi there, my name is Peyton Fowler, and I'm going to be the uh, physician assistant student working with you today. Um, before we begin, can you tell me your first and last name, date of birth, and preferred pronouns? A lesion in your mouth, and can you tell me when you noticed that lesion? You said two days ago, and the same size for these two days, has it grown at all? And are, can you kind of describe this lesion, like what it looks like, um, what it feels like, if there's any other characteristics about it you want to share? And have you noticed doing anything, eating anything, does it make the lesion hurt more, does it make it grow anymore? Um, can you tell me if you have any allergies, do you have any allergies to medications? And have you ever had a surgery? And um, when was your last period? And your last pap smear? Okay, now for the review of the stems. So starting in general, are you having any fevers, chills, or night sweats? Any malaise, which is just generally not feeling well, um, or weakness or fatigue? Okay, and have you had any unusual weight changes? And now for your head, have you had any recent head trauma? Are you experiencing any headaches? Any dizziness, loss of consciousness, or lightheadedness? Okay, now we're gonna do the abdomen. Um, are you having any abdominal pain, any nausea, or vomiting? Okay, so any vomiting of blood, any diarrhea, constipation, any changes in your bowel movements, movements any dark tarry stools, or bright red blood in the stool? Um, any difficulty or pain um, swallowing? Any excessive gas, belching, or heartburn? Um, any uh, food intolerances recently, or just the loss of appetite, change in appetite? Any history of gall stones, um, liver disease, or stomach problems? Okay, guys, in the car, I took a shower, and okay, I did don't want to jinx it but this exam seems like I would argue one of the easier exams we've taken in this medicine course but I just don't want to say that because I'm like watch me not pass that would be so awkward but anyways I'm off to go do my more studying with my friends at Jill's grandma's house I think she's making like burgers this is like a real treat <laughs> because not cooking for yourself is amazing being able to eat a nice lovely dinner with my friends it's just incredible so I'm very excited it's gonna scurry on off I'm literally wearing this Nike sweatshirt, my sweatpants, and like these slides. So, grandma is not gonna be impressed with the fit of the day, but that's okay. Good morning, you guys. Today, it's a big day. I'm dressed in my business profesh outfit, and I think it's really cute. I really like this top, it's from Shein. It's kind of like extra, but I vibe with it. And I'm just wearing a pair of brown little trousers, but I'm gonna start getting ready. It is 6.54. I like to leave around like, 720 when we have exams. So the first thing we have today is the hematology exam And then we have like lectures and then in the afternoon we have this review of system LAC event, which is when you're dressed professional. Ideally, we would have our white coat We um, sent them off to get embroidered and we're not sure if they're gonna be back by today But that's okay if they're not but yeah, so we're gonna get ready. I do apologize I didn't film yesterday. I really wanted to get some clips at grandma's house, but we were just all very in the zone and trying to learn hematology. So, anyways, let's get ready. Alright you guys, final fit check. My hair is done. It's totally gonna fall by the time I go. I think I go at like 2.30 or something, so maybe I'll still have some cute curls to like put it in a ponytail or something, but for now I'll leave it like this. Like I said, this shirt is from Shein, and then these are my favorite pants. I mentioned them in my PA school favorites. Um, they're from Princess Polly, and they're just like wide leg trousers. I have black and brown, and I just feel like they're so flattering. They're so comfy. Like, 
I don't feel confined today or uncomfortable, which is like the best. Um, and then I'm wearing sneakers, but I'm going to change into booties at the time of my event. So also if I sound like congested, I, my throat is killing me, which is usually the first sign of me getting sick. I don't know if it's allergies because it's recently been way colder here. Anyways, this is the fit. Wish me routine gal. Which is like 4.30. You're gonna she can't, she, like she, she's never, no, no, no. I'm sleeping in I'm about to go in. <laughs> oh, Yay, I'm late. Show off your little white coat. Oh, so it's so Kelly. cute. Them. Hey, fever. <laughs> Fatigue. Chills. Night sweats. Melise, like general not feeling well. Any weakness? <laughs> now I'm looking at you. <laughs> so are you having any sore throat or tongue today? Who's your patient? I don't know. <laughs> okay, no. Yes. <laughs> okay, any sore throat or tongue today? Yes. Um, is your mouth dry? Yes. Does your voice feel hoarse? Yeah. Any difficulty swallowing? Yeah. And have you had any um, dental or teeth or gum issues? Yeah. Are your gums bleeding? Yeah. And have you ever had um, an abscess in your mouth no. besides what you have going on today? Do you wear dentures? No. And when was the last time you went to the dentist? Two weeks ago. Okay, great. Thank you. Perfect. You guys. <laughs> Today was the most humbling day of my entire life. It is 3.47 and I just got home. Well, you know, I, because, okay, listen, I'm just going to be honest with you guys because as hard as it, is, as it is to, like, admit when, like, you don't do well in things, I feel like part of me even doing YouTube in the first place is to, like, give you guys the real experience the truth the realness so we all know i was feeling very confident going into this exam not that i was going to get like a hundred percent but i was like there's no way i won't get a 70 because that's kind of like the goal 70 is all you need to pass our program doesn't like rank you in any way shape or form as long as you get a 70 you're good to go like there's no gpa even so i feel like slowly throughout p school i've been kind of trying to figure out like because i don't want to like overstudy and stress myself out way too much so I've recently I've noticed like this semester kind of been like testing the water like I definitely did not study for this exam as much as I used to but I also felt like this content was easy so you guys probably know what I'm getting at so I'm taking the exam and <laughs> I feel good about it that's the funny part that's the funny part is that I did not like look at the questions and think oh my god this is so hard there were definitely a few where I was like between like I felt like there were two answers but I wasn't like like I've had med exams where I'm like what am I looking at right now and um do significantly better on them than I did on this one so basically I'm first of all this has it's kind of irrelevant but I was not feeling good this morning because I didn't eat I forgot to eat this morning and I'm having like that sore throat so I just like so badly wanted to get out of that exam so I didn't do a thorough review of my answers because I didn't think there was any way I got more than 12 wrong so I didn't go through and like really review things I don't know if that would have made a difference but like anyways I just wish I had done that but I click submit I got 13 wrong <laughs> so that is a 69% because I think our exam was 43 questions or something when I tell you I was shocked not because like, like I said, I didn't think, well, I definitely thought I, I, I'm not even going to lie. I definitely thought I got like high 80s, low 90s. So I think there's something wrong with me. But um, I was shocked. And the funny thing is, is yesterday all my friends were making fun of me because they're like, oh, you're just so confident. Like you're just going to do so well. Because I kept like just being like, God, it's going to be okay. Like I kept saying like how good I felt about this exam. And then I said last night, I was like, watch me be the one that fails it and i did now here's the thing lots of times because we're the first cohort and these exams are with the do students pretty much for every med exam she goes through and gets rid of questions because some of them are not fair some of the ones on today's exam weren't fair so i the reason i think that i didn't fully have a spiral is because i got a 69 and i just needed one point back so like one question back and there's never been a med, med exam where we didn't get a few points back for unfair questions so i think that's why i didn't panic i was actually like laughing i was also like telling everybody that i failed i just like had to get it off my chest i was like don't you guys think that i passed like i definitely just failed that i think because i've been testing the water of like how much to study and stuff and I've just been, been kind of I don't want to say slacking but I definitely have not been working as hard as I did first semester I think I needed like a little bit of a wake-up call 
um, I needed God to humble me today and he sure did but yeah that's just kind of funny so we got our score back like two hours later and I was totally fine so then we had two psych lectures and um, we had this ROS thing where we had to go and do the whole review systems and write a soap note um, that was pretty hard I was pretty nervous everybody was really short on time you had 30 minutes to do the actual interview and then 30 minutes to write your soap note my soap note is not perfect i wish i had more time there the interview i think i had plenty of time so i feel like i'm coming down with a cold because my throat is killing me i feel like tired and i think i'm just really run down from this week that we've had so tonight's plan is to do absolutely nothing i literally might go get like ice cream or a slurpee or something just because my throat hurts so much but i thought i would share that with you guys i did not pass today i mean i ended up passing at the end of the day but originally i was like I just feel that. <laughs> um. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I am off to school. Today we are doing, so we have this thing called core wellness, which is like a mental health thing that we do once in a while. And today we're going for a walk. So I'm kind of excited. So we're going for a walk at nine and then we have, so that takes us to 10. So then we have two psych lectures that I'll stay for in person. I'm feeling a little bit better today, which makes me feel more promising that it's just allergies because I just took some Afrin and I feel better. So that's good. Hopefully it doesn't turn into anything worse. Yeah, I last night when I tell you I laid in bed and took naps, like I door dashed food. I just, I was so exhausted last night. Like this always happens to me after we've conquered like a really tough week. I like cannot function as a human being for the rest of that night. Unfortunately, I have to function for today and tomorrow, but then the weekend is gonna be so chill and I cannot wait um, as long as I feel better. But anyways, that's what's going on. Let's go for a cute little walk. Okay, so I'm showered and I have to watch the interaction of me yesterday with my standardized patient and review how I think I did. Oh my god, I literally like, would rather stab my eyeballs out than watch this. I just want to forget about it and move on. I don't know my grade. Like, I literally don't know how I did. So I'm scared. All right, we got through the review that I had to do. It actually was not as bad as I thought. So that's all done with. And then I tried doing microbiome, and then I got tired. Then I took a nap. And then by the time I woke up, I was like, you know what? That's it for the day. We're not going to do any more work, even though I had a lot I could have done today. But that can be a weekend issue. So currently, I'm packing my little duffel bag because my friends and I are having a slumby tonight, and I'm really excited. I feel like we like hang out together all the time, but we're always doing like schoolwork and stuff. So we're going to have a little girls' night and then just make a night of it in slumby. We were originally going to do that because we had to all be at class tomorrow. We thought we did, but actually, it looks like a lot of this stuff tomorrow is asynchronous. But we were all excited to do a zombie anyway, so we're just gonna do it. And yes, yeah, so I'm wearing these sweatpants and this oversized tee, packing my bag. But anyways, just pack it up. Good morning, you guys. I am back at my apartment. I just got here. Last night was so fun, but today we have the longest day. Uh, we literally go till 5 o'clock of lectures. So I'm in my skims pajamas that I slept in last night. Currently making a coffee, about to sit in bed and watch two lectures from 10 to 12. Let's get my coffee. I say this all the time, but I am just so thankful for my friends that I met in PA school because like, I'm not like a slumby person. Like it takes like a special group of people for me to want to like have a sleepover. But anyways, I am a little bit sleepy. The cold, I think it's allergies because it's doing okay. It's like not getting worse. It's just staying the same, which I think is a very good sign. A cute little MSU calm mug. So this is today. So basically these little asterisks mean they are online. So I didn't do either of these lectures. So we're starting at 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six lectures that go all the way till five. I'm gonna be doing all of them from here. Only two of them are actually in East Lansing, like in person, but they're the four o'clock, the three o'clock and the four o'clock one. So like at that point, there's no way I'm going to campus. So we are here for the day. 
in child development and psychology. I cleaned my whole apartment and feels so good. I wiped the mirrors down. I'm still in my pajamas. Don't mind me. Um, I did a big old bathroom clean. And I'm going to change into some real clothes now. But we have a, another lecture at one. But I the apartment needed that so bad, you guys. It was insane. So I deep cleaned the kitchen, the living area, everything. And I am so happy. So... Now I'm like, I broke a full sweat, so now I'm gonna change into an actual OOTD and then hop right back in bed and watch these lectures. Lectures ended early for the day, so it's like four o'clock and Steven's on his way and it is officially the weekend. So I'm gonna end this video here. I know this video was a long one and I know it was kind of lame uh, yesterday and today, but I just needed to chill out because <laughs> this week was like, honestly, I think one of the longest of PA school this far. So. We made it through. Still don't know my um, ROS grade yet. Let me like double check to make sure that's not in. Yeah, it's not in yet. So hopefully we passed everything. It was a close call. There were lessons learned this week, but hopefully it'll only help me going into the future. And they said this was one of the hardest weeks of the semester. So fingers crossed it doesn't get much worse. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys a little peek into a really tough <laughs> week in PA school. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.